Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is a love tarot reading session for you Libra. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good Libra. This reading for today, this is a love reading. This is a love message. Let us see what's happening towards you guys. What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know. This is for the sign of Libra, okay? And of course, before I start, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Yes, viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe, okay? This reading for today, this is for Libra. Let us see what is the love message for you guys, okay? Let me just get my water. coming back Libra. So Libra, let me just drink my H2O. <clears throat> wow, that feels so good. <laughs> okay, Libra, let's see what's coming towards you in love, relationship, dating, getting to know what is the love message for you. Applicable for singles, couples in a relationship, dating, getting to know. What is the love message for you guys, okay? All right, okay. I'm seeing the Ace of Swords. Let's see. What's the love message for Libra, 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 Libra? Love reading, love reading, love energy reading, please. Okay, so the first card, Libra, is you've got the Four of Swords upright position. This is you. Um, I feel like, Libra, you're coming to a point where you know the truth. Okay, the Four of Swords, this is you, you're resting, you're taking a break from possible third party, Three of Swords, um, or you're taking a break from a, you're taking a break from love, or you're taking a mental break from thinking about this person or this romantic situation. There's a part of you, Libra, that... Um, you don't want to beg anymore. There's a part of you mentally, you're configuring yourself to, I don't want to think about you. I don't want to think about love. I just want to think about myself, you know? This is you. You have the Ace of Swords in here. You're really prioritizing to have a positive, like every time you think of the failure that someone or disappointment or maybe failed relationship, but every time you think about love and its failure, and it, it, it could frustrate you, you know, it makes you upset or angry. So are you having a men, m mental, um, like you're controlling your mind. There is a mindset in here that you're getting stronger. Mentally, you're mentally stronger, pushing the thoughts that might hurt you. Most especially connect, connected to this person who gave you three of swords, who gave you disappointment, or who's very indecisive of you. Okay? Now, nine of pentacles. So the person that you're dealing with or manifesting, um, they're available. They're okay. It seems to be this person is getting ready to chat. I'm hearing the word... Um, they're available. They're also waiting for you, Libra. You avoid to think about them. Um, this person is manifesting that you call them or text them. Nine of Pentacles, they're okay. It seems to be uh, they're single or about to be single, but they have ways to... They solve their problem. Something tells me Nine of Pentacles, this is your person they have solved their problem something tells me that something is working in something is really working well in terms of their life but they're single something tells me that this this person is still available for you okay they're still available for you the availability of this person is still reserved for you okay yeah six of wands so the connecting energy the connecting energy between the two of you is the six of wands. So I'm seeing like in the next two weeks, um, if you do not reach out, they will reach out on you. Um, 
or they will make a move, they will make themselves available or aware that, hey Libra, I'm still here, uh, Nine of Pentacles. I really feel like your person is in a good mood, feeling lucky, available, they have moved on, no drama. In this reading, if there is a heaviness of vibe, of energy, it's coming from you. It's possible that this person disappointed you. You know, sometimes they will never know how, how you feel because they were the one who hurt you. You know, so it's possible that you were hurt or disappointed. But in this reading, you're the one who is talk to my face. Oh, sorry, talk to my hand with this person. You know, so I feel like this space that you are creating, uh, it will really help the next time you regroup with this person. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Seven of Cups. Your person is the Eight of Cups. And let's see. The Page of Wands. So, <clears throat> your person, Eight of Cups, Page of Wands. Now, this is really confusing. So, you've got a Seven of Cups. So, Four of Swords, Seven of Cups. So, I feel like next week, you're confused. So, now you're ready. So, you're mentally strong. Okay? One of these days... Um, the next couple of days or weeks, Libra, you are going to be mentally strong about setting boundaries with regards to your romantic situation. But emotionally, you're still confused. Now your person, Nine of Pentacles to Eight of, eight of Cups, it's possible that this person is giving you an ultimatum it's possible that this person because they're single ready to mingle or available eight of cups somehow i feel like this person is available but emotionally because you haven't talked for quite some time now emotionally it's possible that they're starting to detach with you or there's an emotional detachment emotionally far away from you but still available for you you know if you haven't really talked to them or a bond with a person emotionally you're not connected or in alignment of each other so this is this person eight of cups emotionally detached emotionally confused emotionally feel aloof or distance with you but still available for you the connecting energy between the two of you is from six of wands to page of wands. It means that the more you do not talk, the more you guys will fall apart. Let's look at the page of wands in here. Okay. What is the message? I feel like this is an ultimatum. Like um, the page of wands, this could be a make it or break it point. This message, the page of wands. Let's see what is the page of wands. Let's get three cards for you. Nine of Swords, yeah, yeah. Then the the Knight of Cups, and then you've got the Star card. So, Page of Wands. You've got Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Lib Libra, Aquarius again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, Page of Wands. One of you, one of you will, one of you will reach out. Definitely, there is one of you that will reach out. They will present, one of you, could be you, could be them, but one of you will reach out, Nine of Swords, enough of this, no contact, no conversation, no proper conversation for some of you living together or if you're together. Okay, let's break the silence. Because Nine of Swords, let's see, it's Five of Wands, yeah, Five of Wands, you know, from six to five. I feel like both of you, both of you feels like it's not fair to just call it quits without talking, okay? Without really, like there's a there's something in the reading that tells me that your person and yourself, like enough of the assumption, enough of the silence, Knight of Cups, the star card, let's get this on and talk. Like it will have, this is a make it or break it. Um, the next time, your person calls you or texts you this is a make it or break it situation at some point your person is 
ready to let go and i think you too are ready to let go but let me give this one last call to my libra you're gonna give it one last time libra sorry i have to close the door because the door sorry the dog outside So that was a make it or break it, um, make it or break it situation. That message, the message that will make it or break it. You know, like nine of swords, I don't want to fight. Five of wands, I don't want to fight. I don't want to blame you. You don't want to blame me. Let's just knight of cups, the star card. Do you like me? Do you love me? Do you want me? What's next? You know, so there's that very straightforward vibe I'm getting in here. I feel like it's you because you're... You're the four of swords like, I don't want to fight. What do you really want? If you want love, fix it. If you want me and a relationship to work, fix it. Be right. Be consistent. You know, be faithful. You know, the, the star card is here. You know, Ooh, make it or break it. Okay, let's see what else is coming towards you, Libra. So you have the three of pentacles and the chariot card. So... I feel like you are a Libra who is very busy. You're busy and um, I feel like you're ignoring, again, similar energy, Four of Swords, okay? You know, Three of Pentacles, I might just focus on my coins, my ambition, myself, Three of Pentacles, my creativity. Focus on your life versus romantic who is disappointing you. So. This will happen anytime soon, you know. It could also be next month. But so you're very busy with something, Three of Pentacles. You're very busy, possibly a new work, um, a new lifestyle. There is a pro there is something that you're you you're doing. I'm seeing you very busy. This person will out of nowhere, the chariot card, they're in a hurry to connect with you. Possible that they will call you, they will show up, or they will ambush you. Like they will show up out of nowhere in your busy schedule. Okay, let's see what they want from you. Yeah, Knight of Swords, look at that. So, I feel like you have moved on or you're keeping yourself busy, taking, you're very productive. Three of Pentacles, you're keeping yourself busy, you're very productive, you're starting to not think about love and its failure, you know. You're starting to move on. Um, this person is in a hurry, uh, chariot card the knight of swords connecting with you so there's going to be an approaching situation from someone and they're in a hurry to connect with you it might lead to a fight uh the knight of swords okay you guys might fight or quarrel because they're in a hurry you are relaxed like you're kind of telling this person back off you know like you were gone or you're missing an action and yet you want me now 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 so someone wants you like now yeah ten of swords someone wants to end the problem to you that's why they're in a hurry they're probably scared that you have moved on or you've started something new so someone is in a hurry to connect with you and they want you right away and they want to establish connection and they want to end the problem the drama that's why this person's like okay now that we're back, now that we're talking, now that we're okay, can we, can I see you? Can I date you? Can I do this? You know, like they want to get on right away to the next level. Yeah. This person is in a hurry to get there. Like they're so in a hurry to get things back to normal the way you and this person. But you have changed your lifestyle. Something has changed within you that I can't just accommodate you. You know, I don't know how long you've been out of each other, out of sync, but I've done some changes in my life, so you can't just sync, you know? Yeah, so they're in a hurry to connect with you. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Wands, the Sun card. So I feel like you're very busy, and then I feel like in the next two weeks, you're going to be busy with life with your friends with your work and a lot of people wanting your time most especially coming from the past yeah knight of pentacles and the two of pentacles and you're hesitant so i see you libra you are so busy with taking care of yourself 
taking care of the house yourself, something to do with work. There's also a lot of invitation coming your way in the next two weeks connected to friends and new acquaintances. Okay. And then at the same time, this romantic person would like to make an appointment with you. They would like to give you a gift or they would like to give you something and you're hesitant to take it because you're not sure if you could still be be with them or you have hesitation like you're scared to connect with this person so i'm going to leave it with you and how you're going to deal with the attention like this is an overload of attention like you're so busy living your life and a lot of not just romantic but also call from people person that you have applied like someone there's a lot of wanting to reacquaint with you so good luck libra because you have an overload of attention take it one at a time take the text and call one at a time see you libra and have a great day